Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls again to another free CAD 18 exciting video from Phelps Energy. Basically, this one I'm going to try to tell you how to do a design for creating a face in free CAD. This will use the spiralize or vase mode of your 3D printer. So you don't have to do both an inside and outside shape, you know, like a, normally you would cut, you would probably copy the shape, make it a little smaller and cut that from it. If you do do that on your 3D printer, it will end up uh, when it tries to do the spiralize or vase mode, it will create two different shells one for the outside and one for the inside of your face which is not what you want you want just one shell but let's go ahead and start trying to create a vase we're going to create kind of a small one start on the xy plane and say okay now what i like to do if i'm creating a vase is create a circle and I'm going to set the radius to that to basically the printer's area about approximately. So if on my Creality, I would probably set this to about 100. It has a 210 uh, build volume on X and Y, so I would set it to about 100. But on this one, I'm going to set it to just uh, 50 because I'm going to maybe do this for a smaller printer. And that's going to be a smaller base. Now, I'm also going to click it and turn that into a construction line so it's not actually going to be part of my base design. So, what I'm thinking, let's do hearts. So we're going to make a heart. We're just going to kind of go... And I'll hit escape. So that was the polyline tool. Then I like to use the three point arc because it's kind of easier at points. I can just go click, I can click on the uh, center and then yeah, I can just go move it up, down. I think I'll go about there. And then I'll click that one, this one, and try to make it about the same. And so that's going to be my heart for this little project. And I'm going to close that. And we can look at it. Oops. And so we're going to grab this sketch. We're going to copy it. Control C is what I'm doing. And I'm going to say no. I don't really need all the other parts of it. Because otherwise it copies the body in order to make four of them. So I'm going to paste, paste, paste. Then I'm going to go part design, reorient sketch, say yes. And I want it still on X and Y plane, but I want to do it, uh, let's say, 50. Say close. Part design, reorient sketch again, yes. Uh, we're going to go 75, okay, and then I'm only going to make this 100 millimeters tall and, and, and all, so we part design, we're going to sketch on the last one, so yes, and I'm just going to go 100, so okay, close, then we're going to look at this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the angles. So I'm going to say this one's 30, this one's 60, and this one is 90. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop over to part. And I'm going to create a loft. And we're going to select all of them one at a time. 
I'm not sure if I can use the shift. I've never tried that. Say create solid. Say okay. Now we can click this shift. I like to make the sketches disappear. And so back in the, the way we used to do it before this whole spiralize or vase mode, we would just end up copying this, making a clone of it, making it a little smaller, and then co cutting it, bringing it up a little, and then cutting it from this. You don't want that type of file for the spiralize or vase mode. Because what will happen is it will create, like I said, two walls. It will print two walls. So this is basically it. That's all you have to do to create a, a vase, um, at least of this type. I'm going to go ahead and say uh, save. And I'm going to go vase designs is where I've been making it. And I'm going to say heart twisty. And then I'll do take the loft file export. And again, heart twisty. And I'm going to close this. I like to bring up, I like to run it through NetFab um, just to make sure it's going to be okay. So heart twisty, say open. I let it do an automatic uh, repair on them. And I go export part, oops, export part STL, and just say OK. And that's the file that I'll end up putting into my slicer. Now, the Creality Slicer is just basically a Cura slicer with Creality settings. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it instead of the, the new Cura. I don't know what's going on. I haven't used this debut before. Okay, it's having issues. It looks like it's still recording. So, um, I have a, a profile I've created. I, let's make sure I'm on the right machine. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to open a profile. I created a profile for these so because I have like three different profiles now. One's for trying to, I'm trying to do watertight on something else. Um, then I have the spiralize setting. So I'm going to go ahead and load mine so you can see what my settings are. Then I'll bring in the uh, heart twisty and it And let it do the slicing part. Basically, I have a layer height of 0 0.2. My shell thickness is double the width of the uh, nozzle. So that it is trying to squish out more. Um, bottom top thickness is 2.4. You want to make sure your solid infill top is unchecked. Um, right now I got filled, it really doesn't matter what your fill density is, it's not going to, it's going to ignore that. My print speed though is really slow, 40 millimeters per second. Uh, printing temp, I'm going to 10, I probably should go higher, it might bond better. Um, but the, my bed is uh, 65, I'm using PLA right now, I'm not using any of those. My flow percentage, I'm leaving it at 100 for now. If you want watertight, you might want to bump that up to uh, like 125. Um, this version of uh, Cure or Creality Slicer always cuts it down, but right now it's it's only like five millimeters a uh, second less. But the part that really matters for all this is go to Expert Open Expert Settings and spiralize the outer contour. You want to check that one right there. And the truth is you could change the infill thing here right on that one too. So you don't have to do it the way I did it where I clicked the little uh, 
this piece to get to those settings. You can do it right here in the expert config. So you uncheck that one, check this one. Say okay. So it gives me one hour and 51 minutes. Um, I can show you the layers. And see how it just it goes around the outside until you know it builds the bottom and goes around the outside and prints up and so we could go file say G code I'm gonna get rid of the repaired part on the G code and say save and then that's the file you would send to your 3D printer or put it on the SD card. So I hope this helps some people. Um, I've been playing around with this a lot lately, trying to create a whole bunch of different base designs. I now have an Etsy shop. Um, so if you want to go help support me in this channel, then please go to Phelps3D's store on Etsy and you'll find me. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.